There's really not a direct correlation between uh, the amount of exercise that you do and its effect upon your ovulation, but uh, regular menstruation suggests uh, regular ovulations. Uh, no menstruation suggests a, a lack of ovulation. And by and large, there is a relationship between the amount of body fat that a person has and the ability of that body fat to store and metabolize certain hormones that are related to ovulation, particularly the estrogen hormone. So uh, you'll, you'll find sometimes that people that have a dearth of body fat, uh, for example, long distance runners, um, you know, are, are going to perhaps be more prone to having issues with ovulation and regular menstruation than, than others. And you know, by the same token, people who um, are very, very overweight uh, may also uh, have, have issues with this. So you know, from the perspective of exercise and fertility, you know, moderate uh, exercise is really fine. Uh, and from the perspective of weight and fertility, you know, uh, the idea is, is not to weigh too much or too little.